30,000 Palestinians have been killed in less than a year because of a cow. In addition, 242 Israeli soldiers and 1,200 civilians have lost their lives because of that cow. The tension is still rising. What is it about this cow that is causing the conflict in Gaza? What is it about this cow that makes it signal the end of the world? This is the story of the Red Haifa. The Red Heifer refers to a red cow that has never been milked, has never gotten pregnant, and has never been yoked. This heifer is very important in major religions of the world. It is in fact why Hamas, a terrorist organization, is attacking Israel. The heifer is supposed to be sacrificed to usher in the coming of the Messiah, and the Temple Institute is preparing the sacrifice. But before we get into that, let us first understand the red heifer in Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. In the book of Numbers, chapter 19, God asked Moses to tell Israel to sacrifice a perfect red heifer for cleansing. This is a requirement of the law that the Lord has commanded. Tell the Israelites to bring you a red heifer without defect or blemish and that has never been under a yoke. Numbers 19.3 The chapter goes on to describe the process of the ceremony and its importance. The ashes of the red heifer are to be used to cleanse Israelites from sin and cleanse anyone who has come into contact with a dead body. Touching a dead person, or a bone, or a grave made one unclean. Purity was so important, such anyone who was not cleansed would be cut off from the community. In Islam, in the second and longest surah of the Qur'an, Al-Baqarah, Moses tells his people that Allah has commanded them to sacrifice a cow. The people asked for the specifications of the cow. They are told that the cow should not be old or young. It should be wholesome without blemish, not used to toil the soil or the field. Pieces of the cow were so strong that they could bring a dead person to life. It is, however, important to note that in Surah Al-Baqarah 269, it is written, They said, Call upon your Lord to specify for us its color. He replied, Allah says, It should be a bright yellow cow, pleasant to see. A Yemenite Israeli authority on Jewish religious law by the name Rabbi Yosef Kapach explains that the ruddy light brown color of the cow, which is the normal color of the cow, is generally described as yellow in Arabic. As we get into Judaism, this is where it gets even more interesting. This is because the Jews are pushing for the demolition of the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the building of the Third Temple. Here's the old city in occupied East Jerusalem, the place where Islam, Judaism, and Christianity all intersect. There are several sites here that are holy to all three, including this big compound that rises above everything else. Jews call it the Temple Mount. Muslims call it Al-Haram Al-Sharif, which means the Noble Sanctuary, or the Al-Aqsa Mosque Compound, or sometimes just Al-Aqsa. Now, right in the middle of everything is the Dome of the Rock. It's an Islamic shrine where Muslims believe the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven. And here is the Al-Aqsa Mosque itself. It's got a huge prayer hall with space for 5,000 worshippers. This mosque is not just a mosque. In fact, according to Al Jazeera, it has stood on a hill in the old city of Jerusalem for more than 1,000 years. Before we look into the tension that this situation creates, let's look at the position of the red heifer in Judaism. In the Mishnah, also called Torah, which are Jewish written traditions and laws, the red heifer was burnt into ashes and used for cleansing. The Mishnah reports that in the days of the Temple of Jerusalem, water for the ritual came from the Pool of Siloam. The sacrifice was so important that the children who carried the water were raised in isolation so as not to come into contact with a dead person. 
Now that we have seen where the red heifer stands in religion, let us look at where we are today in the modern world. The Temple Institute and other Israeli organizations are looking for a red heifer that meets the criteria in the Book of Numbers and the Mishnah. They then want to make a sacrifice on the Mount of Olives, where they have already built an altar. A massive altar already awaits, where the heifers are to be burned. The altar overlooks the Al-Aqsa Mosque. The mosque stands on Temple Mount, the place where the third temple is to be built. In this age of artificial intelligence, modern technology is being used in the preparation of the red heifer. Toward the end of 2023, the terrorist group Hamas got the news that the Temple Institute had brought five red cows from Texas, United States, to the Holy Land, Israel. In a recent speech, a Hamas spokesman blamed the Jews for bringing red cows to the Holy Land. The cows he's talking about at a secure, undisclosed location are these, red heifers to be precise. Some Jews and Christians believe they're the key to rebuilding the historic Jewish temple in Jerusalem and to beckoning the Messiah. This was one of the reasons they attacked the Israeli military. The fight is ongoing. The war on Gaza has entered its seventh month with no end in sight. And one reason for the Hamas attack on southern Israel is hardly mentioned. One of the signs of the end of times is war and the rebuilding of the temple. It has been said that the war is already here. It has also been said that the building of the third temple will usher in the coming of the Messiah. Those sacred cows were showcased in Washington at a recent prayer gathering. Many evangelicals believe these red heifers will usher Christ's second coming. We need the Messiah to come, right? So for me, the red heifer is red for the blood of Jesus Christ. With the sacrifice of the red heifer bound to happen any time now, let us wait and see. We're thrilled to have shared the captivating story of the red heifer with you. We would be delighted if you could share your valuable thoughts and opinions with us in the comments section below. If you enjoyed our content, please do give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our future videos. Thanks a lot for watching and we eagerly await your presence in our upcoming videos.